Thanks for coming out, everyone, today. Uh, anybody remember speech class freshman year? Yeah. When I was in Ms. Marankovich's class, I started this speech with a quote. But today, that seems too impersonal. So I'll start it off uh, with a story about grad night instead. For all the friends and relatives in the audience, grad night was when we as a class uh, went to Disneyland together until about 2 o'clock in the morning really a highlight of senior year. So the day after, uh, I saw a teacher of mine, and being the kind and considerate person he is, he asked, how was grad night? I told him it was tons of fun, then he followed by asking sort of jokingly, did anybody get in trouble? And I paused. <laughs> I paused because I took a second to think about all the people in our class, the improv stars, national community engagement award winners, the all-American baseball players, and I couldn't even think of how one of these people would get in trouble. I mean, I was the last person back to the bus. Yeah, senior standout, most likely to be tardy. And I had friends calling and asking if I was okay. That's the Francis Parker class of 2017 for you. So today I wanna to take a couple minutes to talk about us. No, not the class of 2017. Our salutatorian Asin gave a phenomenal speech about that definition of us on Thursday night. And besides, uh, does anybody know uh, anyone in the graduating class? <laughs> yeah, so you all know how amazing my classmates are. Uh, instead, I want to talk about how we, as a class and as a generation, define us. So have any of you been to Mexico? Yeah, so I visited my first time uh, my freshman year to a place called House of the Migrant. I was on a trip with Mr. Trotter in the social justice class to learn about borders. You see, the house is a place where recent deportees can stay for a while while they reestablish their new lives in Mexico. And there, I met a man named Luis. Luis talked like me. Luis laughed like me. Luis felt pain like me. But Luis couldn't go home like me. And I think that's the first time I started thinking about what it means to be us. Now fast forward a few years and enter Mr. Dunn, our Director of Community Engagement. With drives and after school programs and service opportunities, Mr. Dunn has taught us that we are part of the bigger community of Linda Vista. He's shown us that we doesn't necessarily just mean Parker. And I for one have been amazed at what he's helped us accomplish. And then fast forward a few more years, and while we may not have graduated quite yet, we've all gained a Parker education. Mr. Wimpy and Mr. Johnson have taught us that 99.5% of all our DNA is exactly the same. Exactly. And Ms. Hanscom has taught us how scientists know that humans are causing climate change and that the effects will impact all of us. But you know what's amazing? We're the generation that has the chance to save the world for everyone. We're the ones who can break down the barriers that limit our definition of us. We'll have the chance to create a new educational system that people can, uh, that can help us work together toward the common goal of equal opportunity. We're the ones with the poise to uncover the true meaning of Kofefe. No, but seriously, <laughs> every generation expands its ideas of who deserves equality. And you're mistaken if you think the people on stage with me aren't going to change the world. You know, I promised myself that I wouldn't use a quotation in this speech, but I think I found one short enough to break my rule. It's by Muhammad Ali, and it goes, me, we. Thank you.